Hi, Nicole with you from iPad Calligraphy. We've been looking at Procreate 5 and its amazing new updates. And quite recently, I just did a tutorial on the Brush Studio and how to create a color dynamic brush. This week, we're gonna look at how to combine two brushes together. So since Procreate 5, we now have the ability to combine two brushes together and that brings elements of both into the brush. So there's amazing possibilities for all sorts of different effects. So I know a lot of you have the glitter and foil pack, so I'm gonna be using that as an example. So I'm just gonna start by creating a new set here and I'll just call it Combine and this will just hold our brushes. For some reason, Procreate doesn't like putting brushes in the top set, so I always just drag it down one or two. So I know a lot of you have the glitter and foil pack, so I'll be combining two brushes from that pack. And I'll start with, in glitter and foil confetti, this star confetti brush, I'm gonna duplicate that. We need to duplicate the brushes that we're gonna to use to combine, just because Procreate will combine them and not leave behind the original version. So you need to make sure you've got a duplicate there so that the, if you wanted to revert, you can. So I'm gonna select those two brushes, swipe to the right to select both, and we're gonna choose combine. So now that's merged them into one. And I should already be able to see, yeah, there you go. We've got the glitter brush and there's the stars coming through there. So that's actually really cool already as it is without any editing. But to just show you what you can do, if we go inside, we can actually select these brushes independently of each other and change the properties straight in here. So at the moment, you can see I've got the seconds, the star scatter brush, the confetti brush selected because it's got this little blue highlight next to it. And I can change all the elements and the aspects of this brush just by using the attributes on the left. And then I can also change the attributes of the glitter brush as well. We also have the option to change the combine mode. So this is gonna make a difference to how the brushes look together and how they combine together. I think normal's actually fine for this brush here, but there's gonna be other brushes. Just, just know that it's there so that you can experiment and look at how other brushes might look together. So don't forget, you can always test using the drawing pad on the right. And if you wanna clear the drawing pad, you can just tap on the little drop down here and go clear. There's another shortcut though, you just three finger scrub on the drawing pad and that will also clear. Excellent, so just say you wanted to revert and go back and uncombine these brushes, just simply tap on the secondary brush once and uncombine will come up and then Procreate will confirm that's what you wanna do. Go ahead and press uncombine and then you've got your two separate brushes again. So something else that's important to note when you're combining brushes as well is that it, it does matter which you select first. Whichever brush you select first is going to be your primary brush. So if I was to select the star confetti first and then the glitter brush and choose combine, it will make that confetti brush the primary brush. So it will be very different in appearance. So it does matter which brush you select first. So I'll just uncombine that go back in here, select the second brush, choose uncombine, and we'll do it the other way around. Glitter, then the star, combine, and there you have your star brush again. So that's definitely the right way around, I think. It looks just nicer. Excellent, so that is how we combine brushes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Check out the channel for more Procreate videos, and I'll see you next time.